Hello everyone, in this video we will work a governmental funds example focusing on how to differentiate between the various types of funds. For simplicity, we will only use two funds to keep things simple. A general fund, which is used for the day-to-day -day operation, this is a must-have fund for all governmental units, and a capital project fund, for this example, a fund that's dedicated to gathering resources for a new building project. We will break down the transactions step by step, showing you the journal entries and how the journal entries affect the two funds. At the end, we will see how these journal entries come together in the financial statements. Simply put, we'll take all the transaction, prepare the financial statements, showing you the statements of revenues and expenditure and the statement of financial position or the balance sheet to see the big picture. This is an important topic in governmental accounting. If you're studying for the CPA exam, let's go ahead and get started. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. The city of Greenwood manages two governmental fund. A general fund, which is each government will have to have at least one general fund. They have to have it for daily operations and capital projects fund. And this fund is to accumulate resources for the construction of the new municipal building. Well, it makes sense. This is where you keep the funds. During its first year of operation, the city engaged in the following transactions, and we're going to be giving five different transactions. As I mentioned, we're going to journalize each entry, breaking it down, whether it's a general fund, capital project fund, and at the end, we will prepare the financial statements for things to make sense. The city receives 2.5 million in cash contributions, with half a million restricted to the construction of the new municipal building. How do we journalize this entry? Well. This entry, this 2.5 million, some of it is the general fund and some of it is the capital project fund. Let's start with the general fund. The cash we debited, 2 million, it's not restricted, it's for the general fund. So the general fund portion and we credit contribution revenue, 2 million. Now, the remaining, which is the half a million, it's for the capital projects fund portion, we debit cash half a million because it's restricted for that purpose and we credit contribution revenue in that fund half a million now if you want to keep track what I suggest you do is you keep track of your cash general fund you want to keep track of your cash capital project fund you want to keep track of your contribution revenue general fund because at the end I'm going to show you the ending balances and where do they go but if you're interested in seeing What's happening, that's, that's a good way to really understand the big picture. The city incurred operating expenditure of 1.5 million, of which 1.4 was paid in cash. Well, 1.4 is paid in cash. The remainder is what? The remainder is she will, uh, they will do what? They will incur it on account, which is an accounts payable. Are we allowed to record accounts payable for governmental accounting? Yes, modified accrual would allow us to do that. So we're going to credit cash 1.4 million debit operating expenditure. Expenditure, this is important, not expenses, 1.5 million. And we credit accounts payable. That's fine. Short term liability. That's okay with modified accrual 100,000. Now, if you don't understand modified accrual, I strongly suggest you go back and review modified accrual. The assumption here is you have a good understanding of modified accrual. Interest revenue. The city earns $40,000 in interest, fully received in cash, on fund restricted for the construction of the new municipal building. Remember, they had a separate account for the capital project funds, and now this fund earned $40,000. Well, we're going to debit cash, obviously, $40,000. We earned it, and we're going to credit revenue, specifically interest revenue, and this is a capital projects fund. Why? Because we earned the interest from that fund. 
Now let's take a look at a transfer. The city transferred 200,000 from the general fund to the capital projects fund. Well, it seems the, the building, the construction of the new building needs more money. $200,000, $200,000 for the project. Well, we needed some money. There are two entries to make here. First, we have to transfer the money out from the general fund. Then we have to transfer it in the capital projects fund. Let's do this. Let's get the money out of the general fund. We're going to credit cash, 200000 and we're going to debit other financing uses transfer out. Think of it as a, it's called a transfer out account. We're transferring 200000 Yeah, it's like a debit. It's like an expenditure. We're, money is leaving the general fund. We credit cash. We debit this account, and it's a transferred out. It's not an expenditure. It's a transferred out. From the capital projects fund perspective, we have money coming in. So the money leaves the capital project fund, goes into the, uh, leaves the general fund, goes into the capital project funds. 200,000. Now, if you have a T account, we have cash. Kind of, kind of show you cash, general fund, and we have cash, capital project. 200,000. Left this fund, 200,000 increase the other fund and we credit other financing sources transferred in which is a form of in quote revenue or transferred in specifically transferred in money transferred from another fund 200,000 this is where where we would record this transfer let's take a look at this entry the city paid $150,000 in architect fees for drafting plans for the new municipal building so this is an expenditure we're going to treat this as an expenditure, 150000 and it's going to be charged against the capital projects fund. Why? Because it's for the new municipal building. Therefore, we debit capital expenditure, debit capital outlay expenditure, 150 and we paid for it. We credit cash, 150 Again, this is for the capital projects fund and this is why we needed some money they it seems they wanted to pay for the architect so that's why we had to transfer some money to them now let me show you this is a summary of all the general funds entry so notice i break them down one two four this is a summary for the capital projects fund also one two three five now i'm going to show you the financial statements starting with Changes of revenues, expenditure, and changes in fund balance. They have revenues of two, 2 million, total revenue 2 million, operating expenditure 1.5. They transfer 200,000, you remember toward the end, transfer 200,000. So 2 million plus expenditure of 1.5, finance transfers out 200,000. What they're left with is 300,000. This is a newly governmental fund, zero. Ending fund is 300000 Remember, it's an income statement and a statement of retained earnings. This is for the general fund. Let's take a look at the capitals project fund. They started with 500, five, in revenues, they started with half a million. They earn interest of 40000 That's 540 They had the capital outlay of 150 Then the, the general fund transferred 200000 if we take the plus, minus, then the plus, because we transferred money to them, the net change is 590, a new fund, the beginning balance is zero, ending balance is 590. Well, they, I don't know why they needed that 200,000, but I guess they wanted the money. Maybe early next year, they have a lot of expenditure. <laughs> I'm just making things up. The general fund, we end up with $400,000 in cash. This, is, this was the only assets we have. Accounts payable 100,000 and the fund balance we computed it 300,000. So notice assets equal to 400,000 equal to liabilities and fund balance 400,000. The capital projects fund they end up with 590,000 in cash and the fund balance is 590 cash equal to liability and fund balance. We only have fund balance. 590 equal to 590. So it's very important to see the big picture toward the end, the financial statements where everything ends up to be. So we looked at the journal entries, we looked at the financial statements. Governmental fund balance is important. 
capital projects fund balance is important what we did here we only we did not only show you the journal entries we also show you the statements of revenues expenditure and changes in fund balance as well as the statement of financial position aka the balance sheet if you want to call it that what should you do now you want to go to farhat lectures look at additional resources multiple choice lectures additional exercises that's going to help you whether you are taking a governmental accounting course studying for a certification CPA or some other professional certification invest in yourself good luck study hard and of course stay safe